want justice? Where do we want it now? United in purple and by their fighting spirit for change. These women, all born in the 1950s, were hoping the High Court would rule the government had discriminated against them when it raised the state pension age without much notice, but the judgment didn't go their way. The aim of this arduous legal process has been to rectify a substantial and far-reaching injustice, which has impacted unfairly upon at least three million women. And some of those women were at the ruling today. Oh, it's bloody disgusting. That's what it is. We've been robbed of our pension. We've just I'm 65. We've worked 45 I'm... years paid in. All, all our working life. Absolutely appalled. Devastated. We, we, we just believe that if we win our case at least. What next? Oh, revolution we need. A revolution. For Mac Hawkins, the decision to raise the state pension age came as she was about to retire. With little time to prepare for her future, she's had to keep working. You're watching your pennies. Fortunately, I don't need to go to, to use a food bank at the moment. But if I finished work, I would hate to think where we would be. In a statement, the government insists it carried out extensive communications over many years before making changes, adding it was decided in 1995 that it was going to make the state pension age the same for men and women as a long overdue move towards gender equality. Raising state pension age in line with life expectancy changes has been the policy of successive administrations over many years. But for the women who were born in the 50s, their fight is far from over. They say they're going to continue to lobby the government until their feelings and voices are heard. Catherine Nash, Five News.